Ah, I wondered if I might run into you again. This makes the third day in a row. Perhaps it is fate rather than coincidence. Yes, after our conversation yesterday, I thought I might visit the book house and see what constitutes popular literature these days. Indeed. Traveler, do you know anything of the origins of books in Liu? First, people ground wood into pulp to make paper. For ease of reading, they began binding sheets together to make what we now call books. Later, they developed movable type printing to improve the speed and quality of production. Eventually, the technology developed to the point where books like those we see here can easily be produced in great quantities. There has been a proliferation of literary genres and work since that time. Traveler, is there any book from Liyue that has made a particularly strong impression on you? Oh, so you've read it too. The author does not lack for ideas. Sometimes they move in strange directions and even I cannot claim to fully understand their meaning. But it makes for fresh and interesting reading material. A lot like reading somebody else's biography. Gods and Adepti are far removed from the mortal experience. That they are difficult to portray in writing is no surprise. It is true that the Geo Archon Morax would journey in the mortal realm from time to time. But there was not quite so much ostentatious shape-shifting as the books would have you believe. When the goal is to wander the streets undetected, donning an overly elaborate disguise is somewhat self-defeating. Such discrepancies illustrate the difference between history as it happened and folk accounts based on hearsay. The value of reading accounts penned by others is in the chance to view the world through their eyes. It is very often an unfamiliar sight, though never an uninteresting one. Ah, yes. A memorable work indeed. I have heard that this is an unpopular book, due to its often impenetrable prose, and yet the Yakshas described in it are real historical figures. They were loyal servants of Liu. They lived through a bitter war and sacrificed much. All of Liu, from harbor to chasm, is indebted to the Yakshas for their protection over the years. I believe you have seen one of these Yakshas in the flesh. Yes. These days he often appears at Dihua Marsh. He is given to solitude, but I suspect that he would not turn away a reliable companion such as yourself. Should you happen to see him, please, pass on my season's greetings.